You know, each of those cars carries a whole family. Yes, even him. He's probably got a wife and kids, depending on his arriving home safely. What are his chances? That much less if he doesn't snap into his seatbelt. There can be some pretty frightening results from accidents where people don't wear their seatbelts, and they don't have to be fatal. After all, what's a family with mum or dad laid up in hospital? I know that if you wear a seatbelt, you reduce your chances of being killed or seriously injured by half. So what I'm getting at is this. If you won't belt up for yourselves, then please do it for them, because your seatbelt is their security. And I'm going to be around for quite a while punching that message across. Right, here's my first problem. The driver who takes all the trouble in the world to put a seatbelt on for a long drive along the motorway, but doesn't bother for just popping round the corner, because it's that popping round the corner drive that's the most dangerous, just when you think it's not worth belting up. Think about this one. Over 60% of all traffic accidents happen in built-up areas. So let's get into that seatbelt habit. And let's make it automatic, as automatic as closing the car door. After all, you wouldn't drive off without hearing this, would you? The clunk of the car door closing. Right, let's add another sound. The click of a seatbelt being fastened. Clunk, click. That makes sound sense, doesn't it? Never clunk without your click. You know, we could become a nation of clunk clickers. Is it all worth it? Well, if it's not for you, surely it is for them. Remember, this seatbelt is their security. See you, clunk clicker.